Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. My name is Chris. Thank you so much for joining me today. If this is your first time ever to my channel, I, I would like to thank you for joining me um, and being here. I hope if you like the content of the channel that you'll do those YouTube things like like, subscribe, share, comment, etc. It'd be very much appreciated by me. Um, this is a crafting channel that mainly focuses on diamond painting. Um, so if this is your thing, I hope you like it. And to all my dear friends and returning True Blues, thank you for continued love, support, kindness, and friendship. It means the world to me. So uh, without further ado, welcome. Here's the video. Thanks for joining me. Hi, everybody. Chris here. So uh, I have a quick video for you today. I have one item. It's from my friends from Paint Some Way. But before I get to that, I just wanted to say hi to everybody. Um, I hope you're all fabulous today. Um, you will find this linked below in the description box, um, as well as any other pertinent links like discount codes, social medias, um, you know, all that good stuff. So again, this is from Paint Some Way. Um, now I only have one because this was, um, you know, they sent it out to me to review for you all. And this was more on the expensive side as far as, um, you know, them, you know, having to pick something out and as well as you know a product however I think when it's done it's going to be worth it um on PS I might have another one coming from somewhere else soon so be on the lookout um and I may not stop there because this is actually something that I love I collect these although I haven't honestly gotten one in a long time um but I I'm a collector of these um and I'm super excited to show you so I think we should get right into it. Um, I'm going to take the drills out. I looked at it. comes in this box, of course. Here's a little bag of drills. Now, I can't probably get all this done because there's a lot to do on this. Uh, so I'm going to get pieces done and we'll see how it goes. Now, I possibly could get the whole thing done, but I don't want to, I don't want to promise that because there is a lot to do on here. So... Here's our box, and what do we have? As I'm sure you'll know from the description, it's something that I have plenty of, not diamond painting ones, but just regular ones, and it is this wind chime. Uh, now these are really cool. I see them on the website. I just happened to come across them one day, and I'm like, oh my God, that's better than just a regular hanging chime kind of thing. So they do give you these instructions. Now, I was joking when I opened this uh, originally I, with my dad. I was like, oh, it's good they give you instructions, but it's yellow instructions on white paper. So um, not the easiest thing to read, um, but there are instructions on how to string up the stuff. And, you'll, you know, you'll see what I'm talking about in a bit. But at least it's instructions. So uh, and here we have it. Oh, and of course, every dime painting thing comes with a toolkit, the pen, the tray and some wax. And this one even comes with a couple baggies. Um, so here we have it. It is a butterfly. And these are all the pieces. So it comes in this bag. Just put that over on the side. So first let's look at the smaller pieces. They're double-sided, so uh, it'll be weird if it was just single-sided, right? So we have this pretty butterfly. And again, I just, um, keychains that one side was a regular butterfly and one side was a flower for the wings and they're very pretty so that's how these are two three so there's three of those and then we have three of these the butterfly in this round like mosaic kind of thing and three. Oh no more sorry I miss I uh, that tricked me so we have actually more so six of these and six of the butterflies I miscounted very beautiful just trying to get them all in shot for you and this one but that's not all, because we also have two of these. Identical. Now, why are all these pieces here? And this, of course, we have our hardware stuff with these. 
the little actual chime itself and the strings and the uh, chain and all that good stuff. But before I get to that, so what are all these here? How does this work? This is really super cool. So when you finish diamond painting these, again, they're both double-sided. So look at all this stuff you have to work on. Again, for $20 for something that can, uh, if you keep it safe, like I keep my room chimes hanging in my house, which I would suggest you to as well, or unless you put it in a covered place outside um, where the elements can't get to it. You know, it is a very nice um, decoration. And I would say, you know, listen, it, I would say it's worth it if you really love this kind of thing. So how does this work? Easy. So when you finish doing these two, what do you do? You might notice this. I don't know if you noticed it. Down here, there's a slit in both of these because... We combine them, so we put them together like this. So look at that, look how cool that is. So we have, uh, I should probably bring it up a little bit if I can. Yes. So we have our butterfly, just like that. And so you'll have the hanging part, obviously there's two, circ two uh, cutouts we'll have here and you'll have it hanging however you have hanging there and you have this and then on the bottom parts you have the holes here the holes here and that's where the these uh fixtures come in along with this so you'll put like the string through here and then this on the string and then this on the string you know so well, you probably put it this way so like a string here and then probably the string there and then maybe inside or somehow we're going to attach these i don't know just yet i have to that's what the instructions are for um so we have this little bit which somehow i'm sure will have to probably come this will probably be hanging from these i'm sure but this little bit it looks like a little cat's head doesn't it <laughs> It looks like it fits there. Um, and we have all of these little hooks. And I actually like how these are. They have these, uh, the string, and up top you have these little claw things. So that's really nice. So you don't have to tie tons of knots or anything. Of course, I'm sure you might have to start tying knots with this long string. Somehow it works with this. Then they have this hanging string for the whole thing. Sorry for the interruption. They even give you this. That'll probably hang from that. And we have our four chime pieces that, you know, when outside or hits the wind, it should cling clang together, you know, make a nice little pretty sound. So that's all. And I brought up the website for you. Because here's what it looks like when it's done. See, that's what it should be. You see the it hanging, you see the butterfly, and then you see the other little things hanging from the strings. The chimes are in the middle. Look how pretty that is. Um, they do have other kinds. Uh, let's see, they have these hummingbirds. A large butterfly with little, um, that's the one I have here. These are the other ones. This is a lantern with flowers. These are birds with a cage and birds hanging. There is the uh, hummingbirds with the hummingbirds down there. Up here is the butterfly and the things hanging from the butterfly are cute little like insecty kind of bugs. Like I think ladybugs and maybe more butterflies. And uh, down there is the one I have number five. Again, the lantern, the birds, the hummingbirds. There it is, the other one. Butterflies, bees, moths, that sort of thing. And that's the one I have. So, um, I am going to work on some of these. And I don't know, like I said, I don't know if I'll have them all done. I don't know if I'll have it done or what have you. But I'm going to try to work on it to show you some progress on it. And I'm also going to try to figure out 
the instructions here. I'm read through them, and I'm going to try to then probably show you maybe how to put it together um, on film. All right. So thanks for joining me. Um, stay tuned for the next clip. But wait, there's more. I was wrong. I can't show you the next clip yet, meaning the ones where I had some of it done because Chris forgot to show you the drills. I was trying to rush out because what had happened was um, the reason why I had the, the video stopped previously, my timer went off. It always happens. Either I get a call from my dad, my timer goes off, or there's some crazy thing that happens while I'm recording, right? So um, I had a timer go off because I was making my dad a birthday cake. It's a day late, but it's okay. <laughs> so I had it in the oven just now, and the timer went off because it was time to be taken out. So... Anyways, let's look at the drills first before I send you to the next clip of me, you know, showing you all the goings on after the unboxings. So, lots of stuff in this one, because again, look at all this to do. So we have this, um, like kind of a garnet red. Then we have a bright red. Pink. A raspberry pink. Light orange, light yellow, a sun yellow, bright green, a blueberry blue. A, this is a pretty kind of a, hmm, how would I describe that? A kind of a orange, it's orange with a dash of pink in it probably. That's the best I could say. And there are two of those. Uh, regular orange and some brown. Continuing to some gray. A couple of regular black drills. A couple bags, I should say. Purple. A really pretty, like, um, kind of a sea green. A peach color. A light pink, peach like rose color. A very light purple pink. It's purple with a dash of pink in it. Aqua. And those are all the rhinestones. So lots of rhinestones, lots of different colors. Very pretty. Then we have our friends, the purple slivers. Pink teardrops. Uh, the flat top ones that are faceted. Same with the blue, sapphire blues, uh, round, faceted, orange, uh, iridescent ones, and some uh, like amberish uh, teardrops that are faceted. So those are all our drills. Um, and as I said, uh, stay tuned. I will be working on this and I'll be showing you how to put it together. All right. So, uh, can't wait to see you and show you the progress. Be back. Okay, I'm back. And guess what? I did finish them all. <laughs> so it took me about two days um, to finish all of the pendants and the big pieces. So here we have it. I have the other one over there. And you know, the pretty butterflies and these little round things with the butterfly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this together. Now I'm going to do this in stages. So you're going to see some stopping and starting because I want to figure it out first before I don't want to waste like a half hour or something trying to figure this out, you know, um, how to do this. So basically it's easy to put this part on because all you do is you have these loop pieces. So you have on these ends, uh, where these are going to connect you just it's easy you just put the the piece of uh, round thing through here okay and then you put it through here oops i don't even know if i'm in shot so i have it through the hole here so you just put this through then this piece and you pull it and there. How much easier can you get with that, right? So you have that and you do it the other piece as well. Like this. 
So I'm gonna put these to uh, combine them now. Let me pull you up a little so you can see better. So I'm gonna combine them now because when I put them together, there you have it. Okay, so you have that like that. Um, when I put these together, I want to figure out how these are going to go because I have si there's six of each, and I want to figure out how I'm going to um, hang them on here. I mean, what kind of order? And in case there's kind of like an odd thing, I don't want to have like you know one here, two are the same, and then two one here, these two are the same. You know what I mean? Like the fact to have two of these on one, I don't want to have both of them on this one, and then the, there's only one on these on these two, you know, it would have to be the opposite, that's the way it should be, so um, I'm going to go through that, and basically we're going to do the same things, see with this one now, you're just going to take this on the bottom here, that's when you open the clasp, you connect it to here, and you do the same thing with this, you push this through here with the loop, you know, it's the same principle. Um, and then we'll figure out how to do the chime for the middle. So I'm going to go kind of put this stuff together and I'll be right back and I'll show you what I have. Okay, I'm back. So uh, when you put them all together, it comes out like this. And I will show it hanging up later, um, but it is a very nice size. So um, when I originally had set this up, it helps looking at the example on the website. Now, they do give you instructions. Um, they didn't really help me, honestly. I'm much more of a visual person, and the instructions, um, I don't necessarily think they're hardest to understand, but I just was easier looking at the pictures from the website, honestly, and you could see how it's constructed. So um, I originally was going to do this in alternating thing, like uh, have the top all you know, there's six and six in each of these. So I was going to do it like a round, a butterfly around, and then a butterfly around, butterfly. But I couldn't do that because some of the butterflies, the four on the bottom, don't have a hole um, for the through thing, which I can understand if you, you know, put a hole through all of them. You're just going to have, then on the bottom ones, you're just going to have, you know, a hole on the, uh, and, it, you know, it might seem weird or have a weird look. So... Um, what I did was I just alternated, um, to have the round the butterfly and the round of the butterfly, you know, in the corners. Um, and then I had to have you know, two of these like this, and this one's like this. So it's no big deal. Um, and again, the same thing, you just put the thing through the loop on each of these. So now comes the construction of the chime part. So I'm not going to follow it exactly how it was, um, uh, because they want you to they gave you this long piece of rope and they're talking about you loop dealing it through the thing and that again that's trying to read it in the instructions and i'm not getting it so i'm just going to do it my way but before i do that so they give you you have uh these again these little things with the clasps well i thought they have an extra one but no the third the last one i think 13th one was for the middle so you put the last one on in the middle part for here because that's when you need this plastic piece for the chimes so you have this round piece and you have this uh, little again look like a little cat head so to put this together you just push the smaller part the like ear part through here um, because down here is the the lip on the end so it can't push through so there you have it it can't push through that way so then what you're going to do is you're going to clasp this onto here. Um, now I'm actually going to do that because I wanted for sizing of the chimes. So now that's gonna hang off over here, like that. Now, again, they want you to use that string and do it a crazy way, you know, I, I don't know. But what I did was I cut it in four equal pieces and I'm just going to do it this way. Oh, so I strung it th this one through here, right? So you just put it through the hole here, and then I'm gonna take it and do it this way. I'm just gonna put it through here. And um, there's no, you know, you could maybe tie it on the side over here, but I'm not gonna do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, the 
each chime through all four holes and I'm gonna gather them up and I'm probably gonna tie it in one knot. Um, because if you try to tie it in a knot like this, it's not gonna sustain, you know, I, I, unless you put a huge knot. And this isn't the kind of little rope that can do that. Anyway, you'll see what I mean any, um, at the end. So I'm just gonna, again, I'm gonna cut it off and I'm going to do that and um, I'll show you the result at the end, okay? Okay, and here it is finished. So I have it temporarily hanging up in my laundry room um, on this hanger. And so here it is. Again, so how you can see how it's clasped on there. Go down to here. And so the middle part, this is what I did. Again, just to recap, I put the thing on here just like that. You put that through there. And so I just looped the string. Like I said, I cut it in four equal pieces. You know, you put it one through the one side here. And I tied a knot and I did it on through each of them through there. And then um, on the top part of the knot or the string, excuse me. And then what I did was, uh, uh, cause there was a lot of extra string, string left over doing it this way. So then I just moved it down and tried to make it as equal as I could. And I put like about four or five n n n knots in the one area to keep it so it doesn't fall out of the hole there. And the string is actually pretty much, it's a little stronger, or I should say not as silky as I thought it would be. Cause if you work with string before, you might know that sometimes, sorry for the uh, zoom, the um, focus part issue, um, but sometimes if you work with silky, really silky string, they comes out pretty easily. However, even though this does have a silky feel, it's not as silky where it, it's going to come undone. Those are going to stay how they are. And so it has a nice little chime there. And, you know, really, really pretty. Again, like I said, it's a nice project. It's a, this will make a beautiful gift for somebody. Um, and I just, I really love this one. Um, definitely recommend it. I think it's worth, you know, about the 20, about $20. It probably costs us. Um, like I said, there's five different designs. I'm going to get another one soon from a different company. And, uh, it's just, it's really beautiful. So thank you all for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry for the long video, but I really wanted to show this to you from start to finish and the assembly and all that. If you have any questions, comments, and concerns, just let me know in the description box below. Um, you know, and until next time, please, everybody be safe, be happy, stay safe, stay happy. Of course, the product will be linked below. And I, like I said, just give me some comments if you like. All right. So, talk to you all soon. Love you all. Bye.